Okay. <clears throat> I, I, guilty. Hey, us weekly. I'm Rachel Lee Cook, and we are playing Fashion Police. All right, I can defend this completely. Uh, this is my character, and she's all that. Overalls, pretty sure those are back now. Little sort of batik print shirt, seems like. I stand behind this 100%. I remember this was a Tommy Hilfiger event, and those pants do have beaded fringe down the side. And maybe Tommy should explain that and not me, because that makes me the messenger when you think about it. This is very clearly like a very early Chico's moment for me. Uh, yes, I was 15, but like, is it too early to start? I remember where this jacket came from. It was wardrobe from a movie I did called The 18th Angel. And if you're wondering why you haven't heard of that movie, maybe it's because I was rocking around and stuff like this the whole time. <laughs> I don't know, like I don't want to say early JLo. I'm just kidding. This one, okay, I think the reason that I look so visibly alarmed in the photo is that me from the future knew that this moment was gonna happen. Good story here that's apropos of this photo and the movie that we're promoting, this was the Bowfinger premiere, which Heather Graham stars in and is amazing in. So, you know what? I, I still weirdly feel okay about this look. My mom made that hat, it's knitted, it looks like a strawberry, there's an actual stem on the back. I take it back, I regret it. This was at a point in my life where I didn't really understand that you were kind of supposed to dress up to go to events. You were supposed to be like, you know what? Where I'm going, folks are gonna be bringing it. I just didn't really get that memo. Here's a photo from after I did get that memo. I'm still not like mad at a shoulder reveal moment, clearly. But yeah, the sort of white pancake makeup and the off the shoulder leopard. The strangest thing to me about this look is not so much the outfit, it's the way in which I'm presenting it, like, you're welcome. But I should have been like, I'm sorry. 